Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of this week's feature Grandmaster, which is the Glassway. I'm doing it on the Hunter. These are the list of aspects, fragments and abilities that I'm using, but the main one is Trapper's Ambush. That is the one that lets you activate quick fall. Uh, it uses a melee charge and you go invis. Uh, duty bound as my primary for the overloads, under your skin for barriers and Galahorn for heavy. My class item has overload grenades and lucent finisher on. My boots have rocket launcher scavenger, powerful friends and invigoration. I need an arc mod to activate the secondary perk on powerful friends. Note, I've said this in previous videos, but if you've got one arc mod on for one, uh, char char one, uh, one charged with light mod, you do not have to have one on each piece that you have a chargeable light mod that needs one. So you can have one chargeable light mod, one arc mod, sorry, and multiple chargeable light mods and the secondary part will be activated by one mod. Omni Oculus, I went with that because of the smoke. We can have two smoke and we gain a damage resistance when we're invis. We also get the smoke back faster when, when we're invisible. Uh, Overload, uh, Overload SMG, Auto Rifle, Pearson Bowstring, and Ar Argent Ordnance on the on the gauntlets. Rocket Launch Ammo Finder, Harmonic Siphon, which is get multi kills with a weapon with the same damage type as your subclass. You get an orb and Elemental Armaments. I can produce wells of light with getting a kills with a weapon that matches my subclass. So the under your skin will do both of those. So this was fun. It was a challenge, and it was long. I mean, I think it takes 23 minutes to get to the boss, and the rest is pure boss fight, so it's like an hour at the boss. That's almost a standard kind of run. You're not going to see too many runs under an hour and 15 minutes, and if you do, they're cheeses. But, I mean, not that I'm judging, I'm just saying. This isn't a cheese. I didn't get platinum in this run, and during the run, I'm going to point out the section where I knew I wasn't going to get platinum. Okay? So, I always come down here, whether you're doing the normal, whether you're doing the Grandmaster. Grandmaster more so, because the, the, the Overload Champion up there cannot hit you from here. Now, the Invisors will come, but you've got time, because you give yourself space to be able to take them. And then, once I've took the last two, so you see I take out the first couple of Shanks, and the three Invisors, there's one already up there and two come down. Then we go after the Overload. I jump up here to give myself a little bit of cover. You can see, you can still get hit. Now, on the overloads, this is the way we're going to be taking just about all the overloads. My grenade is an overload grenade, but it also, I also have the fragment where grenades weaken enemies and they last longer. So that's two separate fragments. So I put a grenade on the overload after I've stopped them. And less, so, so the fallen overloads seem to have more uh, health than their Vex counterparts. So the Vex ones you can just put a grenade on, double rocket, good night. The fallen ones, it seems like I've got to stop them first just to take that additional little bit of health off them, then throw the grenade. So that is how I'll be attacking all the overloads. I have a major spec on my bow because that, may, that means that it's a two shot against champions. So whether it's, you know, you, you'll see, even, I think, even a two-body. Whereas most of the time, I set my bow up for ad clear. But this time I set it up for barrier champions because I've heard a lot of people say they've had issues stopping barriers with bows. Put a major spec on, it's a two-hit. So when we get to this section, you'll have, an over, you'll have an overload. Right from the start, you'll have an overload, and then you'll have these wretches. I clear the wretches first sometimes. I'm, I'm not going to lie, I take a little bit of a risk just going around that corner to make sure there's none, no more there. Once the wretches are gone, I do not go down. Do not go down. Stay up here. Once you go down, you activate the next wave, which is going to be a uh, little kind of uh, dregs and a barrier champion. You'll notice I'm dropping a lot of heavy. Which, which but I was lucky to drop this amount. You don't always drop this amount, but I'm not going to pick it all up because we're going. When, when you move from one area to another in these first couple of sections, you can come back and pick heavy up. So it allows me to be more liberal with my rocket usage against 
uh, the bosses because the next two rooms have both got a mini boss. And although the bow, because of obviously a cute burns on and it's void, which is a blessing and a curse at the same time because most of the strike, the heavy hitters do arc right up until the boss and then everything does void. But not everything, but there's a hell of a lot of hard hit and void. So I can I can be more liberal with the rockets knowing that I've got brick after brick waiting in the previous areas. They will not despawn. So I've got three. That gives me six. I'm not going to pick another one up, even though I can carry one more rocket, because I'll be losing out on one. Do you know what I mean? Because when you pick up a rocket, when you prick, pick up a brick, you'll get a minimum of two rockets. So it's worthwhile to just get yourself to, you know, even if you've got five, don't pick that last brick up to get seven, because you could get, you know, I, I've had four from a brick doing these runs. So, you know, Make sure that five is the, ma the the minimum you go into this next room with. So, I'm just going to put a rocket on the boss. You'll see there what sort of damage we're talking about. 30, 40,000. I mean, it might not seem a lot, but in terms of doing damage to the boss and the champions, this was my my best option. Was I knew the Galahorn would be strong. We all know the Galahorn's strong. I didn't have a good enough void rocket. Because you have to look at the fact that Void does 25% more. So, you know, if I'd have had a decent Void rocket... I can't, I can't believe I got rid of my uh, Bad Omens with... You know, the one that you get for... The one that you used to get for hitting rank 3... Uh, with the Drifter. I can't, I can't remember the perks. Was it uh, Cluster Tracking Impact Casing? I don't have that. Or I would have used that. I'd have, put, I'd have put a major spec on it. You know, major spec for champions. Because the boss... The thing about the boss is... The bosses aren't really tanky. You know, it's surprisingly weak. If I'm being honest. Uh, so you, you really, you're really focusing your build towards champions. Uh, <laughs> and wyverns, but we'll talk about them afterwards. I thought I was on to something because I, the first two wide runs on my very first run that I took down both gave me heavy. So for a second, I thought the game was classifying them as, as champions because they've got about 25 to 30% less damage than a champion or less health. But it, it's not. It was just luck. And I, I was like, wow, two in a row are giving me champions, uh, giving me heavy. So as you can see, I'm firing from down here. Right, this is the first area we were in, as you guys already know. You can fire up from here. I always come down if I'm getting pinned down, and there's normally a sniper up to the right. Uh, if I'm pinned down, I will come down here, and I'll take the sniper up on that ledge there, where I just aimed. And it just resets the ads up top most of the time. I don't push forward when I'm up top. Same as down here. If I came off that first ledge I was on, down in the area we just came from, and I've activated the Barrier Champion and the Dregs. If I come up past here, I activate the Barrier Champion and the Host of Ads. So just so I'm not having to deal with too much, I'm just going to fire a couple of rockets. And that cleared most of the ads that come out with this champion. It's just me and him now. Or her. Don't want to be sexist. Could be a her. Uh, so, as you, really kind of straightforward to clear this room. When I was planning for do you see all that heavy? I've got a heap of heavy. I'm going to avoid those bricks so I can fire rockets for days when we get to this next area. This next area was where I thought I would have the problems with because the boss is a sniper, heavy hitting sniper. There is a champion. There's vandals. There's, there's a bit of everything. And once you push too far forward, like the other two rooms, you get a barrier and a wave of ads. What I do is I kind of wait here, right? You'll always get that Vandal and those two Shanks that will push up. The boss will follow them. Normally, as you can see, they're on the same platform. I just put two rockets off, and then you'll start to get a couple of Shanks that will push up here. See? That probably won't be the last... Uh, shanks that come up here now where i just killed that shank you see i'm gonna do my first 
uh, my my first ability, my first trapper's ambush ability. As you can see there, that's where the champion will be. This is about as far as I can push. I'll just use my trapper's ambush again, my quick fall to go and vis to get back up here. And you can see the boss. He got an, he got a look at where I was, uh, and he he fired his his. Uh, his stasis ability, his stasis grenade at me. Now, when you see the boss jumping like that, I was lucky the galley and the, and the wolf pack tracked him. But when you see him jumping like that, when I remember the first times that I was doing this, I was convinced he was jumping off the edge. Uh, he's not. The game won't let him jump off the edge. It won't let him jump off the edge. It'll let champions jump off the edge that'll rob you of your your uh, platinum, which I think is what happens. This one's this strike is notorious for not giving you platinum. I still got decent rewards at the end, uh, but I never got platinum, and, and and there's a reason for it. But we'll talk about that later on. The game won't let him go off the edge, so it'll look like he's going to go off the edge, but he's not. He, he will teleport up to the other side. So what I'm doing now, I'm not pushing forward too, too much. I'm just taking the rest of the snipers, the rest of the vandals. I'll just use my quick fall so I can change. I always, when there's a boss around, do not make the mistake of thinking, oh, I can just, I can just run across there. It, that is the moment when you think I can just run across there. That is the moment where the game will kill you. Now, you can see, I I could I couldn't go invis if I wanted to. Now I've got my super. Super does a fair bit of damage. If the boss here tags you, you can see I'm not a one hit, and that was probably because of having the mod on, having the thermal the the thermal shock plating. When he gets down to about there, your tether will kill him. I actually could have done it before that. Then I'll push up, we'll get these enemies here. I put a grenade down, I'm gonna put a Galahorn, and then a Galahorn over there kills nearly all of the enemies. All that's left now is the two shanks and the champion. Now, because we're in close proximity, champion's gonna gonna shield them. If you feel a little bit overwhelmed here, you can do your quick fall, maybe run over to the champion. Dodge near any of those ads to get your your smoke back, and then get out of there, push back up. But I decided to stay, even though I, you know took a couple of big hits there. Now the two shanks are gone. It's just us. It's just me and the champion. Now because of the 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 the, the perks I've got on my bow, I've got explosive head and I've got archer's temple. I hit crits a lot faster with archer's temple. Now. I have a 612 draw time, which is pretty good. It's a very good boy. I'd never even had to make this this drop. This was an in-game drop. So the one that I actually created isn't leveled up enough to change to change any of the, the, the perks on it. Because this is such a good bow. Now, again, you could say, well, he's going red bar here. I, I understand that I could get hit here. But even though it's void damage, I never felt worried about this... Uh, about this champion because servers, barrier champions, server barrier champions are notoriously weak. So now I'm just going to put a rocket on them. That should get them finishable. And there we go. They're notoriously weak. And even with that burn, I, I, I was still, I mean, I was getting hit with splash damage and it was a couple of shots, but, and, and I wasn't regening my health fast enough. It wasn't one shot making me red bar. So I knew that I was, I wasn't in much danger. Secondary, I thought could be a problems coming up, and it's I I I just call it my head into the pyramidium. So I'm probably gonna put that as the divider in, in the video, because it reminds me the geometry reminds me of the pyramidium. I figured this might be a problem because there's two different versions of this. You'll know which version you've got. When you go in here, I always push up behind the left-hand pillar right over here. Uh, especially on the GM. When you go around here, if you've got Dreg in front of you, which we don't, as you can see, then you've got 
the version where the ads that are coming from where I'm shooting now, after we clear the shanks, will be will be uh, basically using like the arc version of the Vex Mythic Clash, you know, but the tracking version. You know, they just fire tracking shots. If you get the shank version, you're gonna get snipers, of which you get time to come over and do that and kill all, kill the first three. Watch out for round here because there's sometimes, uh, you can see he's ran away there. Sometimes a sniper pushes over to you. And again, you see me ducking in and out of cover. I'll just keep hitting this overload. Grenade kept him weakened as well. I kept dodging in and out because the snipers that push over there will shoot you from over there. If you're dealing with more than one sniper from range, even when you're dealing with one sniper from range, make sure you're ducking and diving, you know, strafing left and right to avoid the snipe because if two of them hit you at the same time, it's over. That's 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 a death. And there's two overload champions in real quick succession here. Now I couldn't take the second one straight away because I don't have my grenade. So what I'm gonna have to do is wait till my grenade comes back. Just kill off this this so if you've got the shank version, you're going to have three vandals that come from the left-hand side, right? And we put a rocket on those. You'll have one where you've just jumped from, a jump to. And then from here, where we are now, obviously these mines, that's one of the, the modifiers that uh, vandals drop, these spider mines. There'll be four here. But, so, j just so that you guys are aware, regardless of whether you get the, the dreg, or you don't get the dreg, just stop him and then same old routine. Whether you get the dreg or you don't get the dregs, you'll, this part will always be the same. Uh, I'm just looking here. I actually messed up the platinum myself, I think. Because in the previous, it must have been the previous run, that champion fell off and it just said a champion's been defeated. And I thought it was this run. I'll explain when we get to the boss that this run will get you platinum if you do what I... I thought I'd forgot to do it. If you do what I didn't do, which doesn't change the run at all, I just forgot to do it. I wasn't sure whether it was this run that that champion had fell off on or it was the last run. Obviously, it was the last run. So that section there, I mean, it's the section we've just done, it's very easy to get killed there. It's very easy to get killed because two snipers could hit you with the same shot. So if you get the dreg, you're going to get uh, vandals coming from that side. They come out faster from the left-hand side. If you don't, and, and, and they've got the trace rifles, the tracking shot trace rifles. If you don't get the dreg, you're going to get snipers, which come out a bit slower, and you can fire a rocket into the corner and clear them all. You'll also get a sniper at the right-hand side. You'll also get a sniper at the right-hand side. Pardon me. Uh, voice went a little bit there. Uh, you get a sniper up to the right where you're running. Once you clear those out, or if he's run away, then you get an overload. After that point, it doesn't matter whether you get the drag or the van, the drag or you don't get the drag. It'll be the same. There'll be four vandals on the other side. Once you clear them and jump over, you get an overload, two vandals with the overload, and then two vandals up on the, the platform that you're going to jump up to. And I do the same thing with each grenade on the overload, two rockets. Jobs are good. Now, when you first get onto this plate, when it, get, it goes 2, 8, 10. The minute I see it hit 8, I get off, and you'll have a whole heap of uh, shanks to kill. From then on in, it will be right, left, right, left. So I just stay on the plate, and just because of the explosive rounds... Uh, and it's still one, even though you've got a major spec, you're still going to one-hit the shanks. And if you, the explosive damage means sometimes you'll you'll do better than a one-hit. One hit will kill the shank and explode the other shank. And then the last two waves, starting from about 70%, will be two explosive ones each side. And again, it's it's actually left, right, left, right, I think. Uh, but when, when, the, when the timer on the plates goes to 8%, you get... A wave of ads coming from both sides, but you also get uh, you also get the left hand come out on their own. So you get a, a two left and right, so that's four, and then you get the left hands uh, wave after that. Now, 
when I threw my grenade at that boss, it's the only time it's going to happen in here, thankfully. I was coming off here, and I just my aim and threw it right over his head. So, you can see there, what I had to do was just drop down, stop him, and stop him with my auto rifle, and then my tether killed him. Then I'll push forward, just w where that vandal is that I'm shooting now, just maybe, maybe in front of the first, first, p the last pillar down there, the last square, uh, and then I'll push back, because we're going to get a whole host of vandals, and as you can see there, we've got this, uh, resilient shank, and a whole host of ads. We'll push back here and just kind of snipe them. Because, again, it's a grandmaster. Two of these hit you at the same time. It's all she wrote. So I'm going to put a speculative rocket over there, and it, you can see that it, 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 it done pretty good. It killed three vandals, which means there was quite a few vandals over there. Now, once I've took down a, quite a few of them, I can then push up and try and get an angle because I always know on that left-hand side there's going to be a Vandal hiding. There's actually two. One of them doesn't have a lot of health. Now, when it's worthwhile mentioning, uh, when you see a champion has appeared, push back to where we were and now we're going to do a bit of long-range shooting. It's worthwhile mentioning because we've got a major spec on our bow, it's two crit shots to kill a Vandal. If you have minor spec, it wouldn't be. So I'm just trying to work out if I'm if I am gonna fire a rocket. And we've done a little bit of damage to a bit of everything. The point of this room, where we are now, is you want to clear as much in front of you as possible. And you can see there's 20 minutes on the clock. I'm gonna take between three and five minutes, maybe three minutes, to clear the ads that are in front of me before I move up. And you want to go into the boss room with full rocket. So, depending on what you've seen drop, you know you've got a finish. You know you've got a finish because there's a champion up there. So, you know you can actually get yourself uh, another a minimum of two rockets. So, I've got, I've got five because I've, I know I've got three on me, two from that champion minimum. And I've seen a brick up there as well. So, I'm thinking... That's my seven rockets, you know. If I get an extra rocket from the brick, and it, you know, which I'm planning on now, I'm planning on getting an extra rocket. And you can see there, I just went after this champion. Normally, normally I don't bother. So we got the finish, and look at that. Six rockets, and I know there's a brick around here somewhere. I've seen it. Now what we're going to do is just clear out the last last ads here. You can see... Now... Again, it's worthwhile saying this. You won't always be able to take the champion down here. Right? So I'm not going to suggest that you can take the champion every time from where I did. Normally, the champion will sit at the end where, where this vandal is. And you'll have to push up there to kill him. Now, normally, and this is, is it's, again, is in my experience, you always seem to drop a heavy brick at the end here. Whether we do it this time or not, is a different opinion, is a different matter. So, I'm going to go back and I'm going to find this brick. i definitely seen a brick, but with all the explosions and... There you go. Now, the explosions whether it be from the bow or the rocket, they can move the bricks. So sometimes you'll see a brick and you'll be like, damn, I, I, I definitely seen one. Explosive damage has pushed it away somewhere. If it's in the, the Vex milk, have a look and you'll see the purple glow you know, that the, 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 the emanates off the top of the, the bricks. That is the whole strike up to the boss, 22 minutes. Now the the real wild raid begins right here. So when I get into the boss room, I always jump to this right hand side and I take out these drag on the right. You're gonna get two on the right, and then you get gonna get two coming from the left. And we have an overload champion. I get rid of the drag, and then what I'm gonna do? I do something. I do this every time. I'm gonna stop the overload champion. Throw a grenade, one rocket, reload. And because 
he's getting hit by the overload grenade. There's a good chance I'm going to stop him again. You see that? Then I can finish him. Because the idea of this run is to have as many bricks of heavy to call upon as you can. So, if anybody's not familiar with this term, uh, I will explain in due course. This was squeaky bum time. The ending of this boss battle is squeaky bum time, which means it, it was a bit uh, uh, exciting, but also nerve-wracking. So, this is wave one of the boss fight. What you're going to have in this wave is you're going to have immediately two overload champions, a couple of, a couple of trash mobs, and you're going to have the Ascendant Hydra. Now, the idea is you've got to take out the overload minotaurs, the two of them, and then take out the adds, and then you deal a certain amount of damage to the Ascendant Hydra, and you get the next wave, which is still wave one. This is still boss phase one. But when you do a certain amount of damage, it's like it's like two thirds, just over a half. What you get is you get two more overloads and a couple of more, uh, a couple of more vex, just not normal goblins. And also, in case I forgot to mention, you get the boss. So again, exactly like we've been doing the whole way through, I'm gonna grenade the overload, two rockets, and I'm gonna push back. But the idea, the, the strategy behind this is, now there's a lot of manoeuvring. Do not, and I repeat, do not attack the ads if you don't know what else is there. So when you're in that room, the room we were just in, ads can come from three directions. They can come right in front of you, they can come from the left, or they can come from behind. Do not attack ads in there if at all possible, especially overloads. And then the next wave, you're going to get barriers or in the next boss boss phase two. This is boss phase one. In the next phase, it's going to be wyverns and barriers. Make sure you know where all the adds are. Now, obviously, uh, we've got invis, so it allows us to, to do a little bit more maneuverability. So what I'll be doing is I'll be trying to get the adds to go between left and right. It's easier to attack these overloads. You'll see me do it on, on quite a few occasions because very rarely in my experience do they come in here after me, right? So I'm going to come out here, I'm going to dodge, and normally what happens is, normally, see how the overload's up at the wall there? Normally what he does is he comes and stands at the entrance we just ran in. So I'm just looking to make sure he's there. Because I haven't been seen... The minute one of them sees me, they'll all come after me. So he's seen me. I want him to come after me. Because this is probably the best place to attack the champions. You can put that there. You can back away. He gets stopped. Two quick fire rockets. And then get out of there. Now, that was that looked a little more clutch than what it was. I went to fire my second Galahorn and it never fired. Again, you want to move position. Get your you get your invis now. I've got my invis, but there's nothing for me to dodge next to to get a smoke. This is where I'm gonna come when when I'm doing the overloads. Uh, this is where I'm gonna come now. I've noticed I ran up there and I've noticed that's both the overloads down, and I think I might have taken quite a few of the hobgoblins. If that's the case, we've just got the boss and the ascendant hydra. So what we've got to do now is get the Ascendant Hydra down maybe about a third, just over half of his health. If you stay here, you'll see the boss is over on the, over on the left-hand side. I'm just checking, making sure there's no hobgoblins. Where the boss was over there, that's where I like to keep him. It's one of the few places he can chill out and he can't hit you. And you can damage him, so that is where we'll be doing most of our damage from. It's worthwhile saying, as, again, I didn't get platinum. The reason I didn't get platinum is, if you tag, you'll see what I do in the last phase. If you tag all the champions and then kill the bosses, you'll get platinum. And I just forgot to tag the two barriers. I could have. I could have went all the way over the other side, just shot each of them once, and then killed the, the, the boss. And I would have been given credit for the two champions. So doing it exactly the same way that I've done this, exactly bar just getting one shot off on the two barriers 
That is how you get platinum. Now, you see there, you'll be able to see his health bar. It's, it, it's about two-thirds of his first health bar. And now we're getting a second wave of overloads and minotaurs. Now, I, want, I, I just want to express this. When I came out there, you see there, we've got him. I'm not, I, I want him to come over here. I want to start moving them about. Is he going to come in? I might have gone before he's seen me. Right, so I'm waiting for my dodge. Yeah, I went in Viz and the Hydra was hit, hit me with splash damage. I took very little damage. It's because with the Omni Oculus, you get times four resist when you're in Viz. So I'm going to... Got one on his own there. He stopped. Two rockets off on him, hitting with a couple of auto rifles. And there you go. Then I'm going to push away here because I don't know where the, the other overload is. But I know that there is an ad here. So I'll go out here. There's the other overload. I'll dodge. When you use your your landfall, your quickfall, sorry. Landfall? That's on the wall look, right? When you use your quickfall, I'm getting about 9 seconds of invis. So I've got 9 seconds to stay invis before I dodge to get 9 more seconds. I want to dodge in the vicinity of another ad so that I get because obviously I've got Gambler's Dodge on. Is, is it Gambler's Dodge it's called? Yeah. So dodging near an enemy gives me uh, one of my smokes back. So what I'm trying to do, I'm not I'm not going to try and fight. There's the Overload. I just want to pull the Overload out of his little cave. Sometimes there's a bit more messing about than others, but I'm sure you guys will appreciate you can't face these enemies up. So I'm gambling on the fact that the overload doesn't come in here because if i'm up here he'll be on the other side of the wall but what will happen is the ascendant hydra will come in so we're gonna dodge see i'm pushing and look at that he is waiting to be killed be very careful here see how i'm backing away as far in as i can it's so that the big boss uh beltrix Be beltron beltron i can't remember his name uh, it's so that he can't shoot us through the gap. That's all the overloads killed in the first phase. Now, what I just done there, I've got my void invisibility. I keep it for a bit. Now I've dodged and got another nine. I'm looking for heavy there. I've got two bricks here. And now I'm going to become visible while I'm still up top. That Vex will have seen me. Now, the Vex, the way the Vex works, they're a little bit like a hive mind. Right? If one of them see you, they're all going to know your location. So there's no overloads. What I've got to do now is I've got to deal damage to... I've got to deal damage to that little Ascendant Hydra. I'm going to dodge. Uh, quick fall. Just find out where the big boss is. He's not there, so I've got to go down. You can, as you've seen, you can run out your... Uh, you can run out your invis right to the last second. I'm trying to get the Ascendant Hydra over here. Here he comes. And because my, my bow is void, it does relatively good damage. Crits are doing like 6,000 because of the explosive. I'm actually really interested to see what this boss's name is. <laughs> Uh, I can't believe I was in this strike all this time. I don't know what his name is. It's Beltron or Beltron or something like that. We'll find out. I want the boss here. Because even with me fighting with the Ascendant Hydra, he still can't hit me. So, he's quite slow moving. So, we'll just get past him. He, the, the, the Ascendant Hydra, which is like Baby Hydra, he does a fair bit of damage, but... You're not really going to get one shot. So you see that's like 6,000 damage for a crit. It's not bad for a bow. And because we need our heavy, we need the rockets. We can't be like burning them willy-nilly. Uh, I can't really put too many rockets on the boss. He's not there yet, so we'll just get... Because once you take the Ascendant Hydra's initial health bar, he's, he's going to shoot. He's going to go. 
And if he goes, then that's cool for us, right? Yep, there's the boss. The boss is right behind him, so I can just stay here. As long as I'm shooting, the boss will stay here. Almost ready to go. There he is. Now it's just us and the boss. And if you're here, he can't shoot you. Belmont. That, that, see, I knew. I mean, don't don't think I didn't know. Right. Uh, I don't want to hear anything in chat about that super. That's not my fault. It targeted the ceiling. <laughs> Actually, what I ended up doing. I think I fire my super at him later on. If you fire down low, you'll hit him with the super. It happens. I think I do it with a grenade as well. The grenade hits the top of that thing as well. Now, we're not doing super damage against Belmont. But I can't burn any heavy just yet. And this is maybe... I probably added about 5-10 minutes onto the strike just doing this. Because it's, it, it's, 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 a, it's a tactical decision that if I want to make sure I need two rockets for each of the overloads and then I need two rockets for each of the 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 wyverns so if you take it there's four total in this first phase uh, four total overloads and then in the next phase there's gonna be four wyverns we don't really need to talk about the barriers just yet but just just say four wyverns and then we do it all again with you know, wave, uh, boss phase 3 is, is uh, 2, uh, 4 overloads, and boss wave 4 is 4 hydros, uh, uh, wyverns. 2 rockets apiece. It's 32 rockets I need to generate. I cannot afford to waste too many of them. Now, seems like a lot, right? But what's cool is, take out of the, take out of the equation that you are going to drop some heavy from the ads. It's just going to happen. It can't not happen. That's why I like to drop a brick. Well, I feel relaxed, more relaxed, if I drop a brick from the, when we come into the room from the first four uh, dreg. I normally drop a brick. I know it's normally on the left-hand side as well uh, from those on the left. So that's one brick. So that's between two and four rockets. So we'll say two just to be on the safe side. Then finish... The champion, that's another brick on the floor. So that's minimum four. That's 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 one half wave of wyverns or overloads. I've got six at that point on me. That's a wave into the next wave. If I've got my so if I've got six rockets on me, two bricks on the floor, I'm guaranteed I can take the first wave of uh, overloads. And then I can, let's just say I get the lowest amount of rockets you can get from bricks, which is two from each brick. I've got enough to take one wyvern, right? And then I can use my grenade or my super or whatever to take the other one. And then I get a chance to kill the two barriers, which will allow me to finish them. Meaning I'm going to generate enough ammo to kill the next two wyverns and then I can stop the next two barriers so you can actually up to that point you can you see there with the super that's what I'm talking about right if you aim it low you will hit them so you have to constantly be generating your own heavy because without heavy this run doesn't work in any shape way or fashion or form uh, if, if you want to set up in the center, which is a viable strategy. If you want to sit up there, you've got abilities on the Warlock, brilliant. But if you're doing this, you need heavy. So this is boss wave two. Now we've got wyverns, right? So I take, I try and take a wyvern straight away. I don't always kill that first wyvern, but the, the wyverns for me, they are the unknown element, right? I tried this a couple of times Saturday night and I tried it or Sunday night sorry yeah Sunday night I tried it a couple of times Monday night with it being such a long run if I'm if I'm trying this for four hours that's three runs because I nearly always on you know 
I don't count any runs where I don't get to the boss. Because it's normally something happens kind of weird uh, in the first section. Right, so where is he? And we'll do that. So that, that Hydra is still alive. That uh, Wyvern is still alive. So I just wanted to see what was going on. He's finishable. So I, what I can do is I can come over here. Now, now this is what I'm saying about you, you know, you're, play, you're playing kind of past the parcel with the enemies. Shoot that Hydra and he sees me. I need to I need to be more proactive with the uh, with the ads so that I can move them about because it gives me a chance to find out where all the ads are. And I'll do my quick fall. And there's the wyvern. Dodge to get my smoke back. And finish him because he's finishable. Now I've noticed something about the wyverns. They, they, their health can be quite high. And you can still finish them. They're finish it, be, being able to be finished. Let's do the, 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 the fall. Dodge to get my my smoke back. Yeah, they, they, you don't really have to damage them. You know, you don't have to take them down to a little bit. It can, it's 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 not quite a third, but it's not far away from like 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 three quarters of the health, maybe just more than that. You take three quarters of the health off them, and you can finish them. I I I've actually seen Wyverns being able to be finished where I was like, Jesus, he's got tons of health left. So we'll get a dot. We'll get we'll get well we're we we'll fall on. There's a brick. See, you will drop and we'll call them ambient bricks. You will drop ambient bricks from ads. Now we're good with the wyverns. I'm waiting for my dodge. When I need my dodge, I go to the far corners of the opposite side. So I can run out here. We want to find these barriers. There's the barriers. Now, I've, when I need my dodge back, I'll go to either the, the corner I was in there or the corner right over here. And if I went in this to get here, the ads have no way of detecting me. Right? But what I need to do, and I think I end up messing this up a little bit. Obviously, we got the run done, so it wasn't too messy. So every time you're going into the open area where you think there might be... Uh, champion I'm just I, I'm again being ultra careful here it's these harpies I want dead because they do void they've got those thick void beams so when you're trying to trying to kill a champion you don't want a, a, a vex harpy coming in and trying to get the melt on you now took a first wave of wave of uh just quickly go up here, get the dodge. And then we're going to go over here. I've got a brick there. I'm going to go over here. And this is where, see, the cha there's a champion over there. I'll try and get down these stairs before he sees us. Give him a little shoot. This is where we're going to try and take our champions from. Now, emote. Wasn't the emote I wanted. Neither is that. It's the bang. So I can see I'm standing up. This is where we're going to take these guys from. This is how we're going to keep generating heavy. These barriers are free heavy. So we'll take them down. And I'll put a rocket on them, right? Now the other barrier will have come up and maybe the other Hydra. But we've got, we have a, a secret weapon. So we're just going to get them low. We'll probably have to break them one more time. And as you can see, if you've got, if you've got, uh, if you've got major spec on. So we'll take them and then dodge straight away. If you've got major spec on, it doesn't matter if you're hitting crits. All that matters is that you hit them twice. And you'll break them with major spec on your bow. So again, don't take any chances. We want him to move towards us. You can always move into cover because sometimes... The Ascendant Hydra will come in to the left here. But most of the time with this second barrier, what I found was he'll push over near the barrier, but up top. 
So again, he's coming round. I, I did have a bit of issue with a, a set of barriers where they wouldn't split up, and it, and it was annoying. So break his shield. I've got a grenade should I need it, and then put a rocket. He will almost be finishable. The barriers have got a lot less health. So we'll go do a bit of this. I, I, I expected the Hydra to be there. He wasn't. So I've got bricks of heavy line about. Be careful when you're coming in here. There's a few times I'm running in here where I uh, I get burnt by the Vex milk. So now I've got to find the Hydra. And sometimes this Hydra just goes off. I don't know where he is. So I'm going to go and check over in here. Now, you've only got the Ascendant height. There he is. You've only got the Ascendant Hydra for this wave, which is why it's perfect for farming heavy. Because you don't have Belmont. Belmont stops you being able to farm heavy. Let's fire my super at him. And there we go. We've got Vex reinforcements. And the Hydra went. So now it's just us. We don't have the Hydra, but I, I, I remember when I was doing this, I... I didn't catch, I don't think I caught that line of text saying that the Ascendant Hydra had gone. So, dodge there. I can see there's both. We've got both of the big boys there. So, we'll fire one. They've got their back to us. We'll get two rockets off on them. I took a harpy. I never took any of the wide runs, but in my mind... I was hoping that there was enough shared damage that I wouldn't actually have to fire two more rockets, but I think I end up having to. So there's the, there's the the hydras there. So I'm just gonna push over here. Not hydras, you know what I mean? Wyverns. So that's a wyvern. I fired it over there to see if it would take some of the harpies as well. So there's still one wyvern up. Go all the way to the back here, and I'll tell you why. I was very careful here because. I'm pretty sure the ad seen me come in here. So the Wyvern could push. We'll get a dodge near the barriers. And then we've got to find... There's the other Wyvern. So I'm, I am going to have to use... I, I, I planned for four rockets anyway. So I decided just to, just to use the extra. And luckily one dropped... Dro I, I dropped another, another brick. Both Wyverns... All sets of Wyverns have gone. This is... No, we, we, we want to farm uh, some heavy. There's no other... And as I say, I, I'm not sure, just thinking about it, I'm not sure I've seen the line of text come up saying that the Transcendent Hydra had gone. That's why I'm looking for him. And I think I end up working out that he's not here. But just, you know, I'm, pl I'm, I'm playing the strategy the same as I would... If, if, you know, if, if he was here. Uh, because I think this is the time. And maybe it was because the Vex Hydra went. Maybe it's because he, he, he went to the Void. Maybe that is why uh, these two, I think it was, it must be these two barriers. These two barriers just, uh, I end up wasting a bit heavy on them, actually. So, again, I'm going to shoot them. I'm going to bring them over. And... So one of the runs I'd done, we got to, we got to, not this point, I got to the the last wave. I think it was the first time I got there. And my decision making was wrong because I'd felt like that the strike up to that point had been quite easy. So I've thrown my grenade, start hitting them and realise very quickly there's a, the other ones there. So I'm not going to get the finish. There he is. I can't afford to finish. I threw a smoke. Try, I don't know what I was thinking of, what I was trying to achieve, but now I've wasted a rocket and my grenade. So now I've got to try and get these two to separate. So we've got this this uh, harpy, as I've already said. You'll see here, I'm pretty sure he fires at me, and you can see he absolutely dominates you. So put a bit of damage on him. Those two champions just want to stick together. Uh... Now I want to take this little hi this little uh, harpy out. 
dodge, get my get my smoke back. You just can't afford to take any chances. I'm not used to doing any activity where you stay invisible for so long. I'm just not used to doing it. I, I think I'm... If I think about it, I probably have done eight, one or two activities where I've used invis like this, but not to this extent. But that's because uh, this strike is just so weird in, its, in the way that it's been constructed to have very next to no... I just throw my grenade because I, I want to melt this guy. I don't want him there while I'm trying to do my thing. There we go. That's him dead. Uh, I'm 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 not used to having to move around in this, but that's because of the the acute burn. The acute burn is what's made this happen like this. If the void burn wasn't here, we'd be fine. So you can see, I can't attack them again because they're together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dodge. I'm going to do the, the, the fall, and then I'm just going to see what happens here with these guys. Dodge. Now, I'm thinking that I, I, I might be able to get him killed. So I'm just going to... And I think the other one's there. So what I end up settling, I don't know if it's this one, but I think one of them I end up settling on. You know what? I'm going to break him and just pop my super on him. Because the super will kill an overload or a barrier pretty quickly. So they're both still there. I did. I remember in my head thinking I could kill both of them with a the super. No. It's not worth it. So I just want to see, is one going to walk away? Is the other one going to come here? I've got my grenade now as well. So I might even be able to nade and rock it. So we're not going to take the chance. His buddy's going to come back, which he probably will. So get him broke real quick. And just pop the super. And there's the barrier down. So now, now that we've took that barrier down, we did waste. Wasted a rocket. Uh, now we've got to find the other barrier. So again... Quick fall. Where is the other barrier? Here he is. So I will dodge and go back round here. Hopefully he's going to make his way round. Again, and I almost feel like apologising for how long this run is. But you really do. Everything in here can practically kill you with one hit. Very close to it. This barrier is not playing ball. So you have a little thing on the... I mean, you can head glitch them like this. Now you can see there, as long as you hit, hit the champion twice, you'll break his shield. I've got my grenade. So be careful because his snipe really hurts. I'll throw my grenade on him. That just makes, as I'm sure you're aware... It just makes my ball do even more damage. And I can't do too much heavy damage. You know, I can't do too much. There we go. We've got the finish and now we'll get two bricks back. Now, I'm not sure if I picked up both bricks. Now, Belmont is in. Right? Now, I've moved over here because it's Wyvern City. Uh, Overload City, sorry. So this is uh, this is we this is boss phase three. So we've gone we're going right back to where we were to start with. So two overloads, some vex, but the difference with the vex is you get exploders, right? So we have we have exploding thrall. You can see I'm just tr waiting for my grenade, and this is the way we're going to do this again. Is hope to. To isolate one of the one of the the overloads here where I'm doing it, and then grenade, double rocket, and then get out of there. And he's dropped heavy for us, fanatics. That's right, the vex fanatics. So the the ads all know where we are, so we're gonna get out of there. Dodge, get where where invis back. Now I f I found a little place right here. 
where I can, you see here, I managed to take a whole bunch of the fanatics from there. Now, being up here, it's okay, but it's not great, right? I only go up here when the overloads are here. You cannot come up here when the wide runs are here because they will just come up and start laughing. I'm um, just, before I dodge, dodge now. I want, I want to know where the other overload is. I don't know where he is. And that's a worry for me. Is he out here? Did he go outside? Don't know where he is. I've got, I've got a smoke, but I've also, I've also got my grenade, so we can, we can think about killing him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate the ads again. Use my, my quick fault, and there he is. He was over the other side with these little buddies. So exactly the same thing again. Going to come up here. I've got everything I need. Let's. That's all the fanatics and the goblin. So that's all the vex that spawned in with him. So I'm, I'm just going to wait for my dodge. And as soon as I get my dodge, bang, there we go. I should have my dodge when I get out of here. Now, the go there's a goblin down there. I thought I'd taken them all. Still in vis, so I'm going to just chance it. So I think what's happened here is when I've been coming out, I think the, 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 the Minotaur has been going out of that left-hand exit. So I can see... You can see that guy there. I've got a bit of an angle. You can take out there's two goblins. I took one. So we get we get our, our quick fall. Dodge. Now I'm looking for the overload. There he is. So now I'm gonna see if I can entice him through the middle, but I think I just miss him. Yep, he's went inside now. Now again, the strategy is to get him up top. It works. The way I've been taking all the other overloads. And I'm I'm being 100% honest when I say this. What you do not want to deviate from your strategy. So there he is there. I, I've got, I've isolated him. He isolated himself. That's the overloads done. Oh, thank you, sir. Another brick of heavy. The more bricks of heavy you've got up, the better. We know that there's a goblin up. We just need to find him, wherever he is. And then we're going to get the boss back to, there he is. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get the boss back to the safe spot to do damage to him. Which we don't have to. Because I was over this side of the map when I was shooting, Belmon has went, ah. Oh. So now, he reacts, to, you seen there, he reacts to fire and he reacts to you shooting so i'll just i haven't quite got it yet what i like to do is i've found the majority of the time my grenade on him does more damage than my super does although that one was a good one there you go that one was really good so once we get him a decent amount of his health bar off him uh we're going to get another wave of overloads and all of that stuff. And then we're just going to do the same thing again. Uh, try, and, try and maneuver the overloads to isolate them to grenade double rocket. I've got some bricks out there, but I've got to be careful of the adds. So we'll just put a grenade on and that will burn through them. Uh, and this isn't the quickest way to take down Belmont, I understand. But the weapons I used dictated it a little bit. And it didn't, it didn't seem too bad, you know. So wh while I'm doing this, because it's just what I'm going to be doing here. Uh, just in case anybody doesn't know, I've shared it on my Twitter. And I'll probably put something up on the, the channel. On Thursday night at 7pm Eastern Standard Time, is that right? Uh, I'm going, going to be a guest on Ebontis' Last Word podcast. Uh, I'm very excited to be... You know, to get this opportunity to talk about Destiny and, you know, I've, I, I've been a fan of the podcast for a while and, you know, I'm a fan of Abontis. He's a, he's a really nice guy. So I hope anybody that supports me on this channel, I hope you come and support me on the podcast and come and tune in and say hi. So it's on Abontis' YouTube channel. I will put a link in the description to the preview of this 
of this podcast. And yeah, hopefully to see some of you guys there. So again, now we've got that second wave out, it's 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 much, much the same. I move over, my, I, st- I was kind of over there to see if any ads would come because I was in Viz, so, you know, I was still safe. Now, I always try and wait till I've got a dodge to do this in Viz malarkey. So I'll dodge, get my invis back. Now he, he he never seen me. But I didn't want a chance going after him. So what I'm going to do is just kill those two fanatics. I haven't got my, my dodge yet. But I'll get it before my invis runs out. So. Dodge. I'm just looking to see what's about. I'm going to jump up in my little spot here and take some of these exploders out. If I can. Which we can't, so what I'm going to do. Dodge. And it seemed it, it seemed to throw this overload here. Seemed to be like, what's going on? So I'm kind of going up here just so I can get a look. I want my dodge back. Got to be careful when when, when you're in situations like this. You've got to be careful. So there is there's an overload there. The ads have seen me. So now I'm going to go invis. I'm going to get out of there. But I can also see that the overload is in prime position over the other side. This guy. Why, hello there, beautiful. So... Grenade, instant, instant stop. And death. And 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 because of where he was, uh, the grenade actually done a fair bit of damage to Belmont. Now when I say a fair bit of damage, I'm not saying, oh look, he's at half, oh he's nearly gone. Uh, so we'll get round Viz back. But it, it, I could see it chunking him. So... See if I can bring these ads out. If if we'll see what's there, with no need. If there is a goblin there, and I seen the overload, I'm not taking any chances. You know, when you get to a when you're when you're doing a strike and you get to this point in the strike, right? Uh, it's ridiculous to start taking those sorts of risks. I've almost got my grenade. Once I get my grenade, I'll maybe do a bit of attack here and see if I can get the overload to come that from that direction. More heavy. No, he never came. So my worry is because he never came that way, is where is he? Got all these cursed. I don't know where he is. So Got a perfect shot here. This was really risky. Because you don't know where the overload is. He could be right behind me. There he is. So I'll take one or two more of these. Dodge. Or landfall. And with all with, with the exploders, it's man, it's just there's so many things that can go wrong. So now I'm just gonna take these exploders. And I got the third fanatic. I've almost got my dodge back. So I can do a little bit of slam dive, go in viz, and then find the overload. Which I I, I didn't find him. I think this I think this guy is has went and hit. I think that's why I never found him. So he's not over here, but I can go over here. And use Belmont to get my dodge because he's just static. So I've got my invis. There he is. I have found him. So what I'm going to do, because he, he, he gets a little bit of a charge on there, is I'm going to head him off on the other side. And then once I do that, uh, I'm just going to go over here. Yep, I'm going to go this way. See where he is. Here he is. I can go up and get my dodge. And then grenade, double rocket. That's all she wrote. 
So now it's just us and Belmont. Once I get Belmont to go, we will be in the final phase of the fight, which is wyverns and barriers. Now, as I have already said, I didn't get platinum. Right? Still got good rewards, and if you'd have, if you'd have given me the choice, I'd have just taken the completion anyway. Belmont is waiting for us. Uh, I'll just dodge and get my smoke back because my dodge will come back before before he does. So, what's going to happen in the fourth phase is we're going to. This is the last wave of uh, wyverns, which is cool. Oh no! Don't 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 run away! Don't run away! Uh, we need you. Uh, it's the last wave of wyverns. Now, I know for a fact that there's a way you can make this shorter, but because of what I was using, I couldn't make it shorter. So, I'll explain when the fourth wave comes exactly what I'm talking about. Once we take this health bar down, then it's wyverns and barriers. Now, again, we need to ensure that we have a minimum of eight rockets because we need two per wyvern, basing it on that logic. I've got seven on me, and I know I've got at least one brick outside, so I've got enough. If I if I need to take a barrier, I'll have, at some point, I'll have my super. So my super will actually do that job for me because as you've seen already, eh, it gets the melt on against most of the champions. The reason I didn't I didn't chance using my super against the wyverns is, is because they just teleport away from it anyway. So I'll throw a grenade that will weaken the wyvern and any ads that come out. And then what we'll do is put two a gale horn. So that is the first that's the first wyvern uh, dead. The second one just like appeared and uh, I almost had a child when that happened. I remember coming up and being like, Jesus! So, this is obviously fourth phase. So the plan is the final phase of the boss fight. We've got two wyverns, two, cha two barriers and once we deal damage to once we kill the the little wyvern, the little hydra, the ascendant hydra, then we just put another rocket up there. Will that kill that wyvern? Yes. That's both wyverns dead. So my plan here for the fourth phase was to get that ascendant hydra down quite low. Right? Get the ascendant hydra down reasonably low and then kill Belmont. Meaning, I just had to melt the, I just had to melt, just look in there, no, I thought it was heavy. So now I am going to have to use my second smoke. There's another brick of heavy. So in my, in my mind, uh, see what I've done there? Two shots on the champion. So when I kill Belmont and then kill big boy here the plan the, 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 pl the plan is the other champion shouldn't spawn in right I think it didn't quite work like that because I couldn't kill the ascendant hydra fast enough that's why I said at the start it was, or near the start of the boss fight that it was quite an exciting run because then it was like, oh no, I've got two more, <laughs> I've got two more wyverns to kill. So I'm now looking for Belmont. That is who we're looking for. But I think, I think if I remember correctly, he's over the other side. I could be wrong. I might be here. No, he's over the other side, just round the corner. He's not showing. It's just round the corner. So if I would have killed Belmont, which I'm going to do. And then the Ascendant Hydra, no, I would have got Platinum. 
when the next two overload, the next two barriers come out, if I'd have killed the two ha wyverns, which I did, which I'm going to do, there he is, we just want him around here, if I, if I kill the next two wyverns and then get a shot on the two new goblins, I'd have got platinum. I just need to get one shot on each of the goblins and I'd have got platinum. Actually, I think I kill one of the barriers. So, we're going to have a look here. I'm going to get this down a little bit lower. I don't know if I actually got them low enough. I might not have got them low enough. He might, I might have left them up too high. See, it's, from my understanding, if you get them to the N, Tran, if you get them to the N, uh, I'll just put a rocket on Belmont. See, because in my mind, I don't need rockets for the next two Wyverns. Yeah, I, I, did I leave him like that? He might have been too low. Uh, I, as I say, and, and this might come as a surprise to some people. I don't know why it would, but it might. This is the first time I've soloed this Grandmaster. I never even attempted it before. A little, a little known fact. I don't. I never really enjoyed the solo GM experience because I felt as if GMs were Bungie's way of saying, "Swim the channel." Oh, you can do it. Right, well, we're going to tie one hand behind your back. You've got no clothes on and you're blindfolded. That's, you know, I, I've never been that sort of player that needs, I don't need affirmation or I don't need people to say, oh, man, you're such a good player. So I never really bothered about it. I had nothing to prove. In my mind, I had nothing to prove. Lightblade might make me think about that again. <laughs> Lightblade could have me uh, not want, but th this was this was the hardest GM when it came out, right? And it's still not easy. I don't care what anybody says. This still isn't easy. Uh, so I wanted to do this. The problem with Lightblade for me is. It's just so punishing from start to finish, you know. I'm gonna give it a go. Obviously, I'm gonna give it give it a go. Uh, I I I have given it a go, and I've got to the boss, and a, a lucent moth that I didn't see come up behind me and killed me. So I'm just gonna try and get rid of the boy here, and I'm not gonna mess about. There's one barrier down. So even when this doesn't go according to plan, I've actually I I've, I can actually have killed these two barriers here. I could have, but I didn't expect to have to fight two more barriers or two more wyverns. So we'll get Belmont to come back. So I probably didn't get that. I know I know I it sounds like I'm repeating myself. Just get my. My fall on. Yeah, he's he's nowhere near low enough. Am I going to put a rocket on him? I don't think I've got... He needs... Uh, yeah, so so he he's probably... He needs another 10% health off him, maybe. Oh, no, I am getting him lower. And we want to know where Belmont is. Got to keep keep an eye out. The other thing I was conscious about is there's still a barrier up, and in my experience, I have done this GM before. And the last time I was here, I was in the exact same place here with an overload. There's still an uh, sorry, it's still a wide run up, still barriers outside. Belmont still needed to be killed, and I only had hand cannon ammo. <laughs> it, it, you know, it's that joke. It's the, the John Wick joke. I seen him kill three people with a pencil. <laughs> you know, that's the way it felt at the time. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of waiting. I was really nervous at this point, and I don't normally get nervous. And the reason I was nervous uh, was because I'd actually been at this part three times. Monday night, I got to here three times, and three times, icky stuff happened. That I was like, really? You're really going to do this to me? Uh, so I, I, I'm like taking no chances. And I... 
I would suggest that you don't either. I'm looking for the other barrier. I don't want the barrier. As I say, I've, I've done this on Grandmaster before, and I was really, we were really lucky in the completion because uh, one of the barriers walked in to the room. Uh, I've got heavy there. Oh, yeah, because I finished that champ. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he walked into the room behind me, and I managed to, because I, I wasn't on a hunter, I was on a warlock. I managed to slide out of his way. I was like, jeez, and I seen his shot fly past me, and it, it would have one hit me. Where is the barrier? I figured the barrier would have been holding hands with Belmon, because he normally does. So you can see I've got, I've, I'm getting Belmon down quite low. Because we want to kill him. What will happen is, when you kill Belmont, you will get the next wave. So if you've got the Transcendent Hydra down low enough, you can kill Belmont and then just melt the Transcendent Hy Hydra. And you'll still get Platinum. It doesn't work like that. And I still, because I'm moving about and I'm, I still can't see the health on, on the Transcendent Hydra. Because I think I, I, I must in my mind... I must have thought I've got him low enough. Aim at him. Let me see. Alright, I'll give Belmont a little shot. Just to, As long as they're shooting in that direction, he'll keep coming. So I could have just got the auto rifle out and just kept shooting at that. And he would have kept coming. No, he's not coming. Oh, there, there he is. He, he's here. He's here. Hey, Belmont. So, as you can see, he not got a lot, so I'm going to put a grenade. And then a rock, a rock A. And then once it opens up, I'll put another one. And then... Now, luckily... I'm thinking to myself, I need to keep a couple of rockets uh, for, uh, I need to keep a couple of rockets for Transcendent Hydra. Uh-uh. No. I need to keep a couple of rockets for the, the Wyverns, because I'm going to have to kill both of them now. And then, and then it was about, it literally, once I killed Belmont, then it was about getting the... Belmont into the, sorry, the Transcendent Hydra into the right place to kill him. And it was, I think, once I thought I had killed him. Because, I mean, it's not, it's not long, it's not super long. It's like, I think from when I killed, from when I killed Belmont, it's five minutes of, you know, running about like a, like a madman. Just trying to find some heavy and, you know. So we're going to kill Belmont. I should have waited for my super. And fired my super. And then go. So we'll see here what, what health he's got on him. No, he, he didn't have. If I'd have got him down to the end, I'd have killed him there. And there we go. Now we've got Y runs. No, I used a term earlier on. It was called squeaky bum time. This is squeaky bum time. I've got no heavy. I've got two wyverns up, which are the thing that has killed me. And nearly every run I've ever done in this, it's always been a wyvern that's killed me. <laughs> so what I've got to do now is find some heavy. Or fire my super. So we'll jump up here so I can look across. Dodge. I keep saying dodge, you know what I mean. It's not dodge, it's dive. So I kind of did harbour hope that I could get the Transcendent Hydra on his own and kill him. And there's Heavy. Which didn't work, because I couldn't find him to start with. So I figured I'd just kill the two high I'll just kill the two Wyverns. We've just, we've got to kill the two Wyverns. And there's the barriers. And 
that didn't kill that Y run, but he's finishable at least. So I will use my my thing, dodge. I don't know where the other Hydra, the other Y run is. So I'm not, and that's the worst thing you can do at all in here, is is have that moment where you say, I could just kill him. And you don't know where everything is. Because a Y run could be right behind you. And I'm I'm not that's not scaremongering. That's from experience. So I don't know how I didn't get platinum. I don't know how I didn't get platinum because I have put damage on every champion. Because Wolfpack. And the explosive damage. So I have heard of many instances, many instances of people doing this, claiming, and, and which I believe now, claiming that they killed everything and uh, didn't didn't actually get platinum. There's the wyvern. I'm going to fire my super. And the second one was a bad super. So now I'll dodge go invis. We're looking... For heavy. We need one brick of heavy. I've got the dodge. Could have been bad there. Don't want to take the chance with the Y run still up. And I don't think there's anything this side. So I'm safe here because the Y run's over the other side. Again, like I've already said, and it seems excessive, but. Uh, you just don't want to take a chance. There's, if you died at this point, you would be annoyed. I know, because I was. So, now we've got to try and find... Big Boy. I could have just put, put a hit on that champion just to make sure. I think what happens here is I'm, I'm doing the damage... And then I, I have that moment where I'm like, where's the Hydra? Where's the Y run? Yeah, I can see him there now. So I'm going to go down here. And, 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 and it just goes to show how bad these enemies can be. So he's not there. So I'm going to go out because I'm thinking, ah, run up to him and dodge. Gone. That is not... It's... it's, it's this nightfall, and especially, is, is uh, like I've said, and I said this at the start. This is my second most disliked nightfall in Destiny history. Uh, take a pop, take a pop guess, and this is Destiny one and two. Just take a guess, uh, and I will, I will pin it as a comment. What my, what my uh, most hated strike is. In Destiny, two, Destiny one and two history. Now what I've got to do is just I've just got to isolate. Now I can use my quick fall. Let's go and scout the area. There's the Y run and look, see the Y one's got tons of health, and I managed to finish them. So now there's still goblins and stuff up, and there's heavy. Which is what we wanted. Three heavy bricks. So now we're going to try and just get an angle on, on the boy. And there you go. Solo. You see gold. It's annoying, but still got an exotic. Still got my duty bound, enhancement prism. Still got all that stuff. But I, th I feel like I did get hits on all the champions. And there we go, guys. That is my solo Grandmaster Glassway. Hell of a trick. Real long strike, but I think you can agree that you can't really do it a ton faster. Again, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for all the support. Don't forget to check out the podcast. I'll appre I'd appreciate all your support there. Thursday, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I will see you guys in the next video.